This video is incredibly difficult to even talk about because it's criminal in nature. A lot of times when I'm discussing gaming leaks, it's just accidental stuff. An employee posting something early, you know, somebody getting beta access, a storefront posting a trailer before they're supposed to. But this leak is different. A big group of hackers have broken into Insomniac Games headquarters, which is debatably PlayStation's best studio, and they managed to steal literally terabytes of very delicious secrets from Sony, and they've posted all of it online. Now, people are discussing if it's even morally correct to talk about this, if this is one of those situations where universally we should turn our back and pretend it isn't happening. But I do do a lot of daily gaming news stuff. I like to talk about the industry. So I am making a decision here to, to talk about it, but in vaguer terms. We're going to avoid a lot of the most top secret stuff. I'm not going to show you, obviously, employee addresses are even getting posted, crazy weird sales data. Some of the stuff in this is top secret and definitely deserves to be top secret. But I want to talk about their upcoming games, some of the stuff that's been posted about Wolverine, and just in general, the future of PlayStation. But we're going to be careful about this. Hi. I'm Dreamcast Guy. If you can like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. So first off, let's talk about this leak and how it all happened. So first up, Insomniac Games was essentially broken into by a ransomware company. They managed to go in there and just copy huge chunks of their entire servers. So they got stuff like Wolverine gameplay, apparently a bootable build of the game itself. I mean, it's, it's wild, and a lot of the industry is kind of coming together to express their condolences. Remedy Games, Square Enix, a lot of people are straight up saying, like, this is beyond just your typical leak. This isn't just some accidental gameplay stuff. This is the game. Okay, so real quick, I do want to look at this Video Game Chronicle article explaining how this happened before we start to actually get into all the leaks themselves. Okay, so here we go. Essentially what happened is this group called Residia threatened to expose a bunch of sensitive data. They broke into there and said, hey, pay us about $2 million or we're going to post this online. They didn't pay, obviously. And now it's all getting posted onto the dark net. 1.67 terabytes of data. That's thousands of gigs of top secret stuff. Now, it's just insane because really this is a bunch of stuff that's uh, essentially detailing everything coming out for the next 10 years. Oh, man. Just everything, internal emails, secret conversations, passport scans. I mean, they, they, they really managed to steal everything. But on the gameplay standpoint, I'm not going to show you the stuff because honestly, right now, Insomniac lawyers are going ballistic. But even inside of the details of this, it sounds like Wolverine is going to be absolutely massive. I think everybody is incredibly curious about Wolverine because Spider-Man has been so good. Miles Morales, Spider-Man 2, the OG Spider-Man on PlayStation 4. The Insomniac Spider-Man trilogy has just been, in my opinion, perfect. I'm a huge Spider-Man fan and they really did it right. But let's face it, Wolverine is a very different style of character. Vicious, ageless, more brutal, more gory. Not exactly the same jokey, punchy tone that Spidey has. Well, it sounds like the game is literally going to be very, very big. We're going to be going to Alaska, Avalon, Canada, Japan. I've seen a lot of gameplay of freaking Logan wielding a sword, like an actual katana. The combat in this game definitely seems like it's going to be good. Now, if you happen to pursue these leaks, they are pretty much all over the internet. Just keep in mind that this game is probably not coming out for many years. A lot of this gameplay stuff, as good as it looks, is from an earlier build. But 
let's talk about it. Apparently it's coming out in 2026. Now, I'm not thrilled about that because I wish we were playing it. There were a lot of originally, there were some rumors that they may try and get uh, Wolverine out in 2024, like December 2024. Apparently those rumors were dead ass wrong. But here is the main leak stuff that is insane. Concept art, gameplay footage, animation, test footage, the cast, roadmap, leaked cutscenes, entire script. That's for Wolverine. Insomniac, PlayStation Studios internal roadmap. Here's all upcoming games being done by Insomniac. Here's everything that Gorilla's working on. Here's everything Blue Point's working on. PlayStation Studios Steam sales. Now, this is one of the few leaks that I did actually want to highlight because it's kind of interesting to me. Obviously, people have been talking about uh, PlayStation staying on PlayStation. Sony makes the PS5. The PS5 sells incredibly well. But over the course of the last couple of years, they have started to take their biggest games and port them over. God of War, I, I'll admit, I'm actually shocked that God of War uh, is this much higher than Spider-Man. Uh, to me, I think Spider-Man is so good on Steam. It's wild that it's only sold 1.3 million copies. But, <clears throat> wow. Spider-Man Miles Morales, less than 500,000 copies. Sackboy, 62,000 copies sold. God. If anything, I think this just shows that the people that are talking about uh, day and date, that we're going to get to a point where PlayStation drops games day one on PC, uh, that day seems to maybe be coming soon. I, I definitely think those numbers would be higher if it wasn't like a six-month or a year-long gap between the PS5 release and and the PC release. But going back into it here, apparently here's the next couple of games we're going to get. Uh, Venom Lethal Protector. Uh, the Lethal Protector storyline is very famous in the comics. It's where Venom goes good. Uh, they basically attach him to this, uh, this uh, war veteran, and they have him start doing all sorts of different missions and stuff. There's different people who play the Lethal Protector, but he only eats bad guys. Uh it's kind of what the movies are based on very loosely, obviously, but uh, wow. It, it's crazy that we're going to get another Venom game before we get Wolverine, Ratchet and Clank 2029, Spider-Man. Now, there have been leaks detailing that this is probably going to be a multiverse Spider-Man, which would be completely bonkers. The possible split, the great web. Now, the, anybody who 100% played Spider-Man 2 knows that there was already some Spider-Verse content in there. Uh, you know, some stuff kind of alluding to Into the Spider-Verse. So, not a huge shock. But, I wonder if that means it's going to be multiplayer. I mean, I think there's probably a good shot that this uh, multiverse game is going to be their first crack at multiplayer. And then X-Men in 2030 with some licensing terms, which essentially means that nobody's actually working on this yet except the legal team, but wow. Now, the one part of this that I wanted to highlight other than this list of crazy, crazy stuff on gaming leaks and rumors is the fact that there are these internal slides that people have been talking about, which is Insomniac discussing how they're actually concerned about the Activision Blizzard deal. Now, I've talked about the Activision Blizzard deal to death. It is done. It is complete. But it is, it, it's always fascinating to me when companies express their fears. Because, I mean, PlayStation is way far ahead. I mean, if you actually look at the numbers, PlayStation is not just outselling the Nintendo Switch in its current form. Obviously, Nintendo Switch was much bigger when it first came out. But the PS5 is outselling the Xbox in some regions 7 to 1. So the thought of... PlayStation fearing the power of Activision Blizzard, especially in internal slides, emails, actually sitting down and making graphics about how terrified they are. To me, that's a fascinating thing. I do feel bad about all this. We, we are in such a weird spot because this does suck. This does actually kind of just make it show that nothing can be secret in the gaming industry. Anything can be hacked. Anything can be leaked. Now, I like talking about leaks. Uh, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I mean, just yesterday I did a huge video about Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League that ended up completely blowing up. I guess my thought is that it's just that weird that we're in a spot where 
we do kind of feel like the cyberpunk future where all information is up for sale. All information is accessible, even if you don't want it to be. I will say that one tweet I saw from Lance McDonald, I want to see if I can pull it up here right quick, is that he talks about the fact that um, he did not see anything about a PlayStation 5 Pro. Going through all that code, going through all that internal data, there is no discussion, at least in sign of Insomniac, about a PlayStation 5 Pro. I do still believe the Pro exists because the leaks seem pretty concrete. They're from good sources, but I mean... I guess maybe Insomniac just is not concerned about it as it currently exists. But what do you guys think about this? Do you believe that I shouldn't even be talking about this? How should we handle leaks of such a malicious nature going forward? Tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a big old thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. And please keep dreaming. Gosh, literally filmed this as soon as I woke up. 7 a.m. Here I am filming this. I hope I don't get in trouble. I hope this video doesn't get taken down, to be honest with you. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.